Today, we're going to use CodeConnect to explore an open source project called Mono.Cecil. This is a cool project that can inspect and modify compiled c -sharp programs and libraries. We've installed both CodeConnect and Microsoft's Roslyn compiler to Visual Studio 2013. We'll start by adding a reference to Cecil. Now, we'll call the static method readAssembly. We'd like to explore this function call and see exactly how mono.cecil works. So we'll go ahead and right click our main method and launch code connect here. Code connect will take a moment to load as Cecil consists of approximately 200 C sharp files. Right off the bat, we see our main method and the call made to read assembly. We can use the arrow keys to navigate to other methods. Every time we do, the invocations made from those methods are displayed to the right. This allows us to quickly navigate function calls that span our solution. We can modify methods and watch as CodeConnect responds instantly to the added and removed invocations. As we type, all the usual Visual Studio features, such as IntelliSense, work right from within CodeConnect. While it's often useful to see all the methods that our current method is calling, sometimes we'd like to do the reverse. Very often, we'd like to see what methods call a particular piece of code. We can press Control left arrow and trigger what we like to call left mode. Now, to the left of our currently focused node are all the methods that call or reference it. This makes it easy to see how execution may have reached a particular code path. Once again, we can navigate using the arrow keys, and Code Connect responds as we move through our project. Here, we can see a piece of code that appears to be covered by a number of different test cases. Now we'll take a look at Code Connect and interfaces. Here we've got one interface, iSample interface, that exposes a property called sample property, and a method called sample method. We've also got a class that provides a concrete implementation of this interface. Finally, we've got a single method that accepts an iSample interface. I'm sure we've all been in a situation where we're trying to understand some piece of software. So we click go to definition or peak definition on a function, only to be whisked away to some totally useless interface declaration. Well, we'll launch Code Connect on this same method. Instead of being shown the interface declaration, Code Connect provides the candidate implementations for the user to explore. This makes it easier to understand and navigate code that relies on interfaces. For this last demonstration, we'll revisit our original project that worked with mono.cecil. Code Connect is great for exploring code, but can also be used when writing new code. When focused on a function, we can press enter to begin modifying that function. Here, we can write calls to new methods and use Visual Studio's generate method function to construct a new code snippet. When we're finished, we can use a keyboard shortcut to resume navigation and begin work on our new method. This means we can use Code Connect not only to explore our existing code, but to easily write new code. We're releasing an alpha version of Code Connect on September 2nd. We'd love to get your feedback and suggestions on how to improve this extension. For more information on CodeConnect and to follow its development, please visit our website and sign up for our monthly newsletter.